We are David and Naomi Darg. We've traveled to over 120 countries, but we keep coming back to Saudi Arabia. And now we're going to show you why. On this episode, we explore the ancient village of Rij al Ama. We encounter some of Asir's unique wildlife. Naomi makes some new friends. And we discover art in local ruins. All that and more coming up now. After this episode, be sure to check out other Saudi destinations in the rest of our series, Next Stop. This is Asir, a region nestled in the kingdom's southeastern corner, a place so mountainous, so lush, that you'll think you're in the south of Spain. But don't forget, you're in Saudi Arabia. With 24 hours to explore, we set off on our adventure. On arrival, we organized a car and driver at the airport and began our trek into the dramatic mountain ranges. We start our day in the town of Muhail at a vibrant traditional market. If you've got a sweet tooth, you're gonna love it. Fresh mountain honey. Asir is world famous for its honey. And when I say fresh, I mean fresh. This honeycomb is straight from the tree. There's a branch running right through the middle of it. This is from the acacia tree. And there's all these different varieties of honeycomb for sale on the market. Oh yeah, amazing. I've never tried honey like this. It has a very unique flavor and a unique consistency too. Acacia honey for breakfast. That's really good. Traders have been selling their goods in open-air markets for as long as time can remember. And today that tradition lives on here in Muhail. This market full of locals selling products that have come fresh down from the mountains. This really feels like the true authentic Saudi Arabia. This market is particularly special. It has all the artisan crafts you'd expect to find, but it also carries something a bit more floral. When you walk through the markets, you're immediately struck by the smell of fresh herbs and flowers. You wouldn't expect to see a street of gardens in Saudi Arabia. Asir has an endless variety of beautiful flowers like marigold and jasmine. And for centuries, the local men have woven them together to create intricate and ornate crowns. The men wear beautifully scented bouquets of herbs and flowers, some in their hair, some in their pockets. I'm having this one made. <laughs> Shukran. Oh yeah. Do I smell good now? <laughs> Thank you. This lush tradition is just one of many that make Asir so special. From Muhail, we set off to explore the crown jewel of the Asir region, the ancient village of Rijal Alma. And we even made a few new friends along the way. Everybody talks about the camels in Saudi Arabia, but they don't tell you about the monkeys. Rij al Alma dates back 900 years. It was an important trade center linking Yemen to the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. Nice to see you. We met up with our local guide, Ibrahim, at his home, and he treated us to a breathtaking surprise. Welcome to the best view in the village. Oh, wow. This is the best view in Saudi Arabia, I think. It's a Saudi tradition to offer dates when you first come to someone to add Arabic coffee. Wow, this is a treat. Thank you, Ibrahim. People tell you that Saudi Arabia is hot. Only hot. No. no. You found in Saudi Arabia, you found desert, you find sea, you find the mountains, you found everything in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we're learning that. The entire view looks like a storybook. The dark stone buildings contrast with the bright white windows and deep colorful highlights. The village feels like it emerged fully formed out of the mountainside. The effect is stunning. The 
the energy up here in the mountains is so different to anything else we've seen in Saudi Arabia. It's so peaceful here. But the view of Rij al Ama is just an appetizer. To gain a deeper understanding of life in the village, Ibrahim treated us to a traditional home cooked meal for lunch. This is the most famous traditional dish we have it here. Goat meat? Yeah, goat meat, yes. Wow. We put it in the tandoor and we cook it with the, this herb, local herb here. This is a local tree here. What's the name? Do you know? Aghalf. Ara? Ghalf. Ghalf. Goat and aghalf. Wow. And is some of this specific to Rij al Alma? So, like this. You can't find this dish other side. If you can't. can't. You can't find it. We call it this one harissa. Harissa. Yeah. My grandfather and also my father, he told me this is the tree we use it for medicine. This tree is poison. This tree we agree in with the food. Also we have connection between the people here and the environment and the trees. Did you know this goat? No, 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 I don't see it. <laughs> I see it. Rizal is steeped in tradition, from its cuisine and architecture to its art. And in Rizal Alma, the art and architecture go hand in hand. Much of the village has been renovated, but Ibrahim's taking us to a part that's still going under excavation and hasn't been touched in hundreds of years. The Saudi government is working hard to preserve the historical treasures of Rij al Alma. They have their work cut out for them because there are unbelievable discoveries down every alley and inside every home. This is incredible. This feels like we're in Egypt and we've just discovered the tomb of a pharaoh with the plaster peeling off with the hieroglyphics preserved. I had no idea that your art had so much symbolism in it. Can you tell us a bit about this piece? If you see that, that one, we call it a stamp. A stamp? A stamp. Every single artist here we have it, they have, they had a unique stamp. So this is like the artist's signature? Yeah, signature. Yeah. Ibrahim, what about these lines here? Those, those lines, which means all the people from God are the same. No difference between poor or wealthy men. Oh, I love that. All people are created equal. Art is one of my greatest passions, and I was thrilled to hear that this ancient art form, al Kat, is still practiced today. I was fortunate enough to sit down with Amal, one of Rijal Alma's premier artists, to learn how to make my own painting in the al Kat style. This is incredible. I have been seeing all of this art everywhere in this village, and now I'm getting to work with this master artist. And it's so special. We're using oil paints right now, but traditionally the women would make the paints using rocks, grass, flowers, spices, whatever they could find in the area. Alcat art form is a regional speciality a perfect blend of art and storytelling. It's essential that this unique and beautiful art form be preserved. Her daughter actually drew all of this pattern here, so she's passing it on to the next generation. This traditional art form is going to stay alive in Rijalama for a long time to come. We are painting on a canvas, but traditionally, the canvas for the artists in Rijal Alma are their doors, their walls, their ceilings. Just look at this cafe. How often do you get to stop and drink coffee while sitting in a work of art? And the coffee here is actually grown in this region. Saudi is legendary for its coffee and teas, and Rijal Alma is no exception. Oh yeah, 
doesn't matter where you go in Saudi Arabia, the tea or the coffee, each cup is a work of art. It's so good. The coffee, the art, all of it is just an extension of the warmth and welcome we received from the people of Rijal Lama. Their generosity and kindness made us feel like a part of their family. Which means in English, welcome, kajillion, million, thousand times. Yeah. I love that kajillion's a word in Arabic as well. <laughs> Just when we thought this day couldn't get any better, Ibrahim took us to watch the sunset at one of Saudi Arabia's best kept secrets. This is the ancient fortress of Al Molak. We never expected Saudi Arabia to be this epic. Saudi Arabia is full of surprises, but Rijal Ama may be the greatest. It's not only unique to Saudi, it's unique to the world. A kaleidoscope of color and hospitality with views too incredible to describe. In every way, Rijal Ama defies expectations. As night fell, we drove back up the mountain to Abha. And if you're looking for incredible food and amazing views, then you can't miss out on Ala Bali. The beautiful Asir region is so diverse, from the stunning historic village of Rij al Alma this morning, to now in this incredible restaurant here in Abha. Make sure that Asir is part of your visit to Saudi. We've had an unforgettable time in Asir, but Saudi Arabia has even more to offer. Getting around the kingdom is easier than ever with Saudi Airlines. They have frequent connections to all the major cities. And just like that, we're checked in for our flight on the Saudi Air app. <laughs>